sister Ryan. You should go talk to her. Hey, don't write me into it. Are you going out tonight? You bet your lives you're all coming out. Come on, it's a historical event. The premiere of One Night Stand at our new favorite pub. <laughs> new favorite since you kicked Clint out. Oh, come on, we always hung out there. Besides, if Clint had one good song in his repertoire, he'd still be there. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. That's my ride. See y'all in half back. That's all y'all. You better be there. So yeah. Right up. Hey guys, let's get a show on the road. So, are you going out tonight? I don't know. I don't feel like it, eh? I'm in competition tomorrow. Come on. Shall I be balls if you don't? Forget about it. The girl will be fine. You need to pet your spirits up, eh? One beer. What harm can it do? <laughs> I'm terrified of toilets in large rooms. So what, you'd rather be switched between two strangers while you're waiting for a stall? I'm not talking about group toilets, they're usually fine. I'm talking about your singular cubicle in a large room. Or a normally large cubicle in a public toilet. You sit there, you've got your pants down and you're... Well, it's just wrong. When there's room for more than one person in the cubicle, you're just asking for trouble. Why do you think they make toilets on airplanes so small? Don't worry about Ryan and Collie's had personal security issues. Ever since... Audrey, Audrey, don't you dare. You haven't told them that story, have you? No. Just give me a shout, baby. So, where do you want to get on tonight? No, like, I'm trying to take things easier, so... You sure? Thanks, but not tonight. So, what about Ryan? Don't offer him one, you bloody take one. So, Ryan, where's sugar? I don't know, she said she'd be here. Speak the devil. Get a room, you two. Maybe leave you. All right, Doofus. Murray's on the door tonight. What's your big plan? Cameron? Alright, so that bin, once Cam drops it in, we'll have about 10 seconds to get in position. What are you doing? I can't get it on. Bugger it, run! Sometimes it's a short break, just isn't enough. Just give me a shot. yourself, Audrey. What did you get up to in the off season? You see, I don't know, different this year. He sprained his ankle. And I thought to myself, you know, if I was just a regular guy or whatever, I'd never get this chance. And, you know, being a ski patrolman, it's the, like, the provision of the emergency first aid and, and assistance is really more important, you know, than and skiing and everything, which is good for me because, oh, all right, after the accident, my leg just hasn't been the same, you know. So what actually happened? I don't want to talk about it. You've changed.
<laughs> hey Michael, we're gonna get out of here. Sugar's got this great place she wants to take. Thanks, Helga. I'll see you later, Michael. What is this place? It smells like someone died down here. Well, I don't think fire escapes haven't been used very often, except for bugs and maybe teen walls. It's getting worse. This leads to the hotel that Mary works at. She left us a key to a nice room. It's really neat. Is this Lynn? Okay. Let's go. Oh, come on, dick face, pick up. What are we gonna do now? This sucks. Thank you! Woo! Woo! A one night stand and uh, that's all from us tonight. So now we're going to pass you on to DJ K over here. Good night! Hey. hey. You're awesome. Thanks. Can I buy you a drink? Sure. Um, extra dry? Sure. Cheers. Bloody hell are you doing here? I'm um, seeing a friend. Yeah, you be careful then. <laughs> Alright. Hey Henry. Hey, Soph. Terrific set. Thanks, cheers. Yeah, I knew Joel was onto a good thing when he first mentioned you. He's a good bloke, that Joel. Yeah, he is. Thank you. <sighs> Alright kids, well I best leave you to it. You look after Joel. So I guess I should go home, switch on the telly, play a bit of Nintendo. You and Joel obviously have a lot of catching up to do. You're trying to get rid of me, Bo. What a chance. That's what I thought. Cheers to that. Too long, Angel. 